the changes that we've seen in migration over the past year are that 74% of employees in Europe would consider relocation internationally. So there's a lot of sentiment, a lot of, a lot of appetite really for uh, international relocation. The driving factors for this migratory talent pool, I think first of all, are rooted in the fact that what we often have are specialists doing very, very similar jobs, but in different locations. So there isn't necessarily a prohibitive cultural or, or technical barrier to them being able to do the same job in a different place. If an individual perhaps is most interested in exposure to more innovative science, the United States might be most appealing, where we're seeing 55% of employees are open to moving. 41% of employees though are open to relocating to the Asia Pacific region. There we've got a lot of emerging markets, a lot of high growth. So what's on offer in these areas is actually a bit different to what might be on offer in Europe, in the United States. This isn't something that's necessarily limited to Europe either. We've seen that 58% of those based in the United States would consider moving out of the United States to somewhere else in the world. What employers should be doing now is to have an awareness really of, of what is happening, to be aware that they are now competing to retain their staff and to attract their staff on an international and sometimes a global level. If a candidate is mobile on an international basis, they'll move from one country to another, then an organisation can't just limit its view of the employment market to what's happening locally or regionally.